Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Room World. So, yeah, we just had a really huge mechanoid raid and it was mostly just a bunch of these centipede guys. There was, yeah, I think there was one or two scythers. Actually, I think there was only one scyther, but there were obviously five centipedes, or I think, maybe, was there six? No, I think there was only five. But yeah, they were a bit of a hassle. <laughs> Especially because they had much better accuracy than they normally do. Actually, it kind of seems like these sandbags aren't as good at protecting you than a wall is. So, hmm. I wonder what I want to do. I kind of want to make a defensive structure in, or... I guess I could just do something like this. Yeah. Admittedly, it'll give them less room. Hmm. So I might even do this. Yeah, then I could have the lesser important people in the back. Actually, I don't really like how this looks though. It's uneven. <laughs> Which is admittedly a stupid thing to complain about, but complain I shall. Yeah, let me yeah, I think I'll just try to make it more symmetrical. There we go. That looks better. So yeah, I think this will make a better means of defending than just the line of sandbags, because our people are getting hit quite a bit by those centipedes, despite the sandbags. Admittedly, though, that's mostly because the centipedes took out half our turrets, so then they were just focusing all their fire on our own guys, and look at that. Hey, we got a lot of components from those centipedes, so that's gonna help. Yeah, it'll make rebuilding a lot easier. Okay, I think I rebuilt this weirdly. Okay, yeah, there's supposed to be a another limestone right there. I believe. Oh, yeah, and then there's another one here, I think, too. Maybe? Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be there. Yeah, I rebuilt this kind of funky. And there's not supposed to be one there either. Okay, now it's symmetrical, I think. I'll build that there and that there. Guess I'll get the rest built too. And actually, for once, we've got. Well, actually, now I'm. At, for once in a while, or I shouldn't say once in a while, but for the first time in a while, I'm actually running low on steel. And they're very slowly, yeah, they're almost done with all this mining that I assigned. Man, we have been going through steel, though, so much. Huh. Yeah, this could go very poorly. If someone's just coincidentally walking in an area where the roof is, someone could very well die. Hopefully that doesn't happen, though. 
And another raid, Jesus. Oh, wow. That's a lot of them. For once, though, it's not a... It's not a sapper group, but it's a lot of them. Yeah, I should rebuild this without a doubt. I don't want them coming through there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're actually completely out of steel. Because I'd love to get this thing done, but we just don't have the steel to do so. Hmm. Yeah, it's too bad that I've had them waste all their time doing this stupid stuff, because... Actually... I've got an idea. <laughs> I've got a grand idea. I want someone to actually deconstruct this to make this much more efficient. And yeah, screw it, I'll have Nina do it. Uh, where is it again? Where's the Psychic Lance? You, get over here. Yeah, they're grouped together so much as well. If I can just get a good shot off in the middle, it'll take like half of them out, I think. Where's the Psychic Insanity Lance? I saw it for like a split second. There's just so much junk in here. It's very hard to find anything that I want. Oh, where the hell is it? <sighs> yeah, you know what? Actually, it might be easier to find without all the text. Let's see now. I'm sure someone's seeing it and is like, oh my god, how can you not see it? But I mean, there's so much junk in here. How can I really expect to find any of this? Eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> here we go. Oh wow, they're, they're coming right after her. Come on, baby. Oh, they missed. Run, Nina, run, you idiot. Ugh, I hate how there's always like that moment where they like just stand there like a deer in the headlights. No. Thank you. There we go. Well, I took three of them out. I, I said I, I said I'd take half of them out, but that didn't exactly happen. Whatever, though. That at least took some of them out. Like, is there any more holes in my walls that they might break through? There's that one. Honestly, I don't mind if they come through there, though. Okay, actually, I do mind if it's that many of them. I don't mind if it's like one or two, but if like half of them are trying to go through there, that is not something I want. Yeah, you're not going to be very useful anyway, so you might as well be the one who builds that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be probably pretty tough. I mean, there's a lot of them. And I was not really able to repair any of those traps either. Oh 
Nina, yeah, she used her triple rocket launcher. <laughs> Let's see if I can find her something in this pile of mess. Here, a supreme charge rifle. Cluster. Okay, they're fleeing. And this became a fuster cluck very quickly. You're dead. No one got taken out, though, at least. <laughs> so, Iron Will dislikes women. Well,. Seem decent. Obviously, that dislikes women thing is a bit unfortunate, but whatever. There we go. Shag is doing some good work. Chat and recruit. Yeah, that'll take a while if it ever happens, but might get lucky. Okay, I'm sorry, Shag, but or Shog. Hey, I, I want to call him Shag, but it's really Shog. Okay, please treat the people that need it, Shag. Please. Or I shouldn't say the people that need it, but the people that are actually part of our colony. And Nabs went berserk. Of course, someone had to go berserk. It's never a good raid unless someone goes mad afterwards, is it? And you're useless. As is often the case. Yeah, it couldn't it couldn't be a a complete raid unless our own colonists ended up going crazy at the end. Now would it? What the fu Oh <laughs> apparently all that repairing made him go mad. And now you two are gonna gonna have to do some more ass kicking. Yes, of course you decided to take out our physically infirmed people. Wonderful. <laughs> Lumi, I I know you were in the hospital, but you gotta protect yourself, please. Wow. Anyone else want to go mad or what? Okay. Okay, you know what? You take. You really want to heal this guy over everyone else. So if you're going to heal him, at least use medicine so it doesn't take you ten damn hours. Ugh. These people. These people. Yeah, look at that. He, he's like, oh, half the colony colonists or half of our colonists are dead. Well, I mean, this prisoner, he, he's priority. He's top priority, truly. You know what? Whatever. Tail just has some bruises, so I'm just gonna let Tail flail around for a bit. Lumi, can you... Yeah, you can't, Doctor. Ugh. I'm just gonna have him do all this, because it doesn't really seem like we have many Doctors, or at least we don't have many Doctors that aren't themselves infirmed. <sighs> Finally. Oh, apparently Tail lost her damn arm. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, 
Yeah, this really did kind of waste our colonist times. This task, I guess we did find in the end some components, which is nice, but in the long run, it did kind of... Like, we would have been much more prepared for this battle if I didn't have them do this for so long. And, yeah, of course, more berserking. Why is... Why is... Why are five of our people in bad moods? I don't get that. I think they're just in... I think... I, th I've noticed... It seems like what happens with the game lately is that what'll happen is is that people get so like like when when you actually build a colony that's good people will actually get in a bad mood more often just because they'll be like so picky okay who who is even who right now everyone's literally on top of each other this is kind of a cluster fuck i keep saying fuster cluck because i didn't want to say the word but now i will say it just because that's what this is Thank you. And of course it was tail again. I know you're armless, but getting in fights with one arm isn't exactly, I'd say, the smartest thing to do, but I guess if you really are inclined to do so, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. <laughs> Thank you all for watching the Insanity channel. <laughs> Hope to see you all next time. Goodbye.